Hi, I'm Edward. I'm Brandy Anderson with Push Consulting. But this is something that people should know about Edward. Not only did he allow us to be moms um, and bring our children in to the office, but he also makes you feel better about you not thinking you were good at doing that. So you're just, you know, you're like a healer. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciated that. Well, people always, you know, think that I'm a doctor because I'm always saying you should do this, right? <laughs> Remember the Christmas, the Christmas gift, we would do quarter in exchange. Yes. And the one year, what so, did you give me? <laughs> we all had to either create or buy an ornament for the person we were assigned to. And, you know, Edward was constantly diagnosing. He's the only non-medical related um, yeah, know, I have, profession. Yeah, I, I have all medical people in yeah. my family except for me. The only thing you've never given anybody advice about in my presence is dentistry. <laughs> I'm not comfortable no. with that. <laughs> So you're constantly diagnosing things for people. So I made him a pill bottle, and there was some funny descriptions on the outside. Yes. But that's when I. He, but there was a phrase you I, came up with, and, yes. that, and it stuck. He's my favorite Filipino. So, and that's because I'm half Filipino, half Chinese. So <laughs> yeah. the Filipino comes out. Yes. There you go. So yes. since then, you know, people have even people new to the agency pick up on that, and they'll go, "Oh, you're the Filipino." <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> How do you and, think? And then, yeah, <laughs> hashtag Filipino. Yeah, Favorite Filipino. Yes, hashtag Filipino. Got it. <laughs> Here's the other thing, again, what, what I love about you. Um, I think the economy crashed, and we just struggled like anybody else in that time. Um, I, like I said, I, I, while I hate that period in time or haven't gone through that period, I felt like I learned a lot in that period. And, and when, you, when you crash like that, you get to start over for Esh and, and, and kind of figure out what you want to do with this business. But I think one of the things I love about that time with you is we, we were at a point where we didn't have a lot of business coming in. I mean, we didn't lose clients. We just lost a lot of marketing budgets. Mm -hmm. And um, you told me, you have to lay me off. And I kept saying, no, but you forced me to. And that I saw, it's like, okay, somebody that's willing to take care of the agency besides themselves. So I just saw, that was one of those times that I thought, oh yeah, Brandy. This is, she's just, this is Brandy. So wow. thank you for taking care of the agency because I was not going to let you go. Oh, well, your, in, your endurance as a human, your ability to um, really transform the way that you saw your business and saw your employees and you've always really cared about the employee experience. You're one of the most loyal people I've ever met. You're one of the most compassionate people I've ever met. And I saw how hard you were working to survive. I know that you were paying us before you were paying yourself. The grit you had and the grit Paige had you know, I, I could see her just clinging at the success of this agency and you were gonna figure it out and I had faith in you and, you know, we were gonna find each other again in yep. the future and we did. Yep. So Brandy walks in, goes, um, can I talk to you? So I said, okay. So she <laughs> closes the door and that's when I went, uh-oh. And she, you know, started talking about my management style and she, she just plain out asked this question or just basically said something to the extent of, you don't have to be an asshole, you know, to get people to respect you. <laughs> and that really, I went, hmm, I never thought of it that way because nobody's ever called me an asshole to my face, <laughs> <laughs> let alone an employee. <laughs> so, you know, but. I'm the type of person that sits there and goes, oh, okay, pause, let's think this through, let's not t get offensive. And we talked about it, and a lot of it was, you know, this idea that I think you were the first one to kind of help introduce to me looking at things from other people's um, point of view. And since then, I think I've carried that lesson and continue to build on it. And I think that's, you know, when I hire people, when I talk to people, 
when I do one-on-ones with all the employees, I, you know, they, I don't, it's not a formula. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, each human being is unique. And because they're unique, you want to communicate to them the way um, they want to be communicated to. And I think you taught that to me. And so management style, I credit Brandy with, you know, the, what I call the stop being an asshole. <laughs> Strategy. Uh, uh, management <laughs> style. And, uh, you know, I think it's done well for me. Um, you know, at least I like to think it's done well for me because I think we have happier employees. We, we have happier people and they genuinely don't want to leave. Um, one of my favorite things that you've been doing for the last couple of years is your deeds, 24 deeds, your 25 deeds. I mean, it is such a perfect encapsulation of the heart and soul of your agency. And, you know, you've, you've, it's been a labor of love for you for years. You've always bent over backwards to help nonprofits or other people, but the, the amount of things that you've been able to do to change people's lives and improve them and the creative ways in which you do it and the grit it takes. I mean, 25 significant charitable deeds. things in a year is a lot. It's a lot because we're, we're at averaging a little over two per month and we only, you know, like I said, we're at, we have about 10 employees physically here in, in this, mm-hmm. you know, city. And so that leaves 10 people to have to do 25 deeds so it is a lot and 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 but you know it is also you go back to this agency's culture it's it's part of the people we've hired this is this is it's not just me wanting this I mean certainly I do want it but I feel they also want to do it well the impact of your 10 people exponentially in this community that I adore I adore this community and I myself I have been rallied around in in tough times by this community and so it's just such an inspiration to me and I hope that you I hope that people are hearing hearing what you're doing and being inspired to do something on you know um, on their that's, own even if it's, it's just once a year that's what our hope is 